Hi, Jumpstart friends. My name is Miss Savannah, and I'm here with some of my other Jumpstart friends. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Hi, everyone. I'm Miss Grace. Hi, I'm Miss Olivia. Hello, I'm Miss Jennifer. Now, last week, we just finished reading The Lion and the Little Red Bird, which was about a lion who would change the color of his tail and make art with it. This week, we are going to start reading a new book, and this story is called Dear Juno. This is about a boy, Juno, who receives a letter from his grandmother in Korea. Now, I was wondering if any of my Jumpstart friends would like to tell us about a time that they sent or received a letter from a loved one and what it meant to them. I know that I just recently received a letter from my grandmother. It was my birthday, and my grandmother lives in Texas, which is pretty far away. And she sent me a letter with some stickers and a nice note about how much she loves me and misses me, and she hopes I'm doing well. That's really cute, and that's a great question, Miss Savannah. The other week, actually, I just sent a letter to my friend Sridget, who I used to go to school with, but now he lives really far away from me. And we actually had talked on the phone really recently, so I didn't have a lot of new things to say to him in my letter, but I knew that it would make him happy to find a special letter in the mail, so I told him that I missed him, and I drew him some pictures, and I even put some stickers on the letter because I thought it would make him smile. That's awesome, Miss Grace. I actually just got a letter in the mail from my family in Florida um, and it was actually for Valentine's Day so it was in February and the letter basically just said that they love me they miss me and even though we talk on the phone all the time it was really nice to just get a letter and hold it in my hands and see just that I knew my family was thinking of me. Sounds lovely Miss Olivia. So I recently sent out a letter to my friend Emily to celebrate springtime and I included some new material that I thought she would like, such as some shows I'm reading, such as some shows I'm watching, some books I'm reading, and just other things I thought she would enjoy. And she really liked it, and it was a really fun surprise. Wow, Miss Jennifer, that sounds so nice. Miss Olivia, Miss Grace, those were all really good stories about sending and receiving letters from people that you care about. Now my friends watching, I'm wondering if you guys have any experiences with sending and receiving letters. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Wow, those are some really great stories. Now, I hope that you guys enjoy reading the book Dear Juno with us and learning a little bit more about letters in the mail system. I'll see you later. Bye.